What's happening, YouTube? Small motivation reactions. Back for another reaction video. So, one of the things I'm getting sick and tired of is dating coaches, especially the ones that sell your dream, lie to you, use the women that they pay something or did some sort of favor to show you that they get women. A prime example of People like this. The fresh and fit people, apparently. The people that so many look up to. And it makes me so angry because you're inspired by some of these people. You watch them for years. And when you find something out like this, it makes you just view the world differently. I'm sick and tired of the people scamming, lying, stealing, winning. That's a true sign one of the last days. Anyway, let's just stop talking and react to this video. It's 56 minutes long. Depending on how it goes, we may have to split it up in parts or just skip throughout parts of the video. But if it's interesting enough to convey a message, I'll have to do five parts if necessary. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the video. Three, two, one, let's go. Basically, these two people, right, you know, fresh and fit, real names, I think this guy's name is, uh, it's Walter and something else. Their entire thing is that they just, like, you know, attack women. And don't get me wrong, you know, some women, of course, just like some men, need to be attacked or roasted or put in check. But that's all they do. That's all they You know what? There's no one's job to check someone. No one. Unless you're, you're the father and it's a kid, you can check the kid. If it's your child, that's it. If you're in a position at work as a manager, you're checking your staff, yes. Other than that, leave people alone. Seriously, leave people alone. People will be people. People will be people. I've gotten to the point of getting, I've gotten tired of people in general. Tired. Sometimes a peace of mind is better. If you're around people that you feel you need to check, that you feel you need to always tell them this isn't right, stop being around those people. So, some people will, are so scared to be alone to tolerate everything. If you're not getting the respect you deserve, if you feel like you're around people you constantly need to check, stop hanging out with them. That simple. The moment you receive disrespect, move forward. Move forward. Stop trying to convince people to respect you. Stop trying to convince people, oh, then I need to exert my dominance. If that ever becomes the case, just move out. Move out. Some people should really love themselves enough to be alone. That's how a lot of people get into domestic violence cases because they feel the need to check someone. They will ever do, and they don't really add anything of value. Like, if you're gonna like, scold these women for having a high body count, you have to offer like a robust and practical solution to that. You know, give them like an alternative, give them a path forward. But they're not interested in giving them a path forward because if women actually behaved properly, these guys wouldn't have a career. You know what I mean? So keep that in mind, and uh, let's take a look at this. I'm big, big on bullying on men. It's good. Makes you better. I think bullying is good, personally. Bullying is. And these are the clowns you people listen to, man. Clowns. And, you know, when I look at my comment section, you know, for various videos that I do, whatever it's a reaction, a workout video, whatever facet, okay? First of all, if it's a profession, people that don't do it will come try to give you advice. They don't qualify to give you advice. Second of all, people that look at your physique get jealous, oh, you must have taken drugs to get there, or they'll give you tips and tricks that they don't follow themselves. And the other group, the, the haters, the incels, the people that come in that are miserable, that want to make other people miserable, living in the comment section of people's videos. Those are the kinds you get. And you're trying to push out something positive, push out things to help people. But these kind of people get love. That's a sign one in the last days. People that lie, 
ridicule women, pay women. You're going to find out. Yeah, pay women to be on the shows. And you got a phrase in these dudes. These dudes even give fitness advice. If you look at these dudes, do they look like they even train themselves? And that's the problem of this generation. People give them tips, they're not qualified to give the tips. Do you know how many times in the morning you feel like going to work out? Almost never. But you have guys like this giving you tips to be disciplined. That don't have the results to show that they do it. Instead, they will pay people to be on their shows, pay for views, pay for all that, and it's believable. So sad. Yet you do things the right way. You progress slowly. You hate it on. I, I don't. I don't understand. I really don't understand. I really don't. I really don't understand. Lying is important. Lying, stealing, destroying, lust, all that stuff is praised. If you do things the right way, it's gonna be tough for you. And let me tell you this: if you're that person, just. Stick with it, man. Be strong. You will have the last laugh. Because people like this self-destruct. People self-destruct. His podcast got demonetized and this other pearly things got demonetized. Eventually, it catches up. It catches up. Do it the right way, folks. Do it the right way. You look around, no one. No one here to support. No one here to offer anything. But they will be in the comment section, though, hating, giving them advice when they're not qualified to give advice, and put you down. They'll be there, though, in the comment section. But when you do the wrong thing, the moment you go to the dark side, they'll all support. Don't go to the dark side. Keep your morals. And bullying is a good thing. And it's needed for men. Nowadays, it's like, oh my god, virtual bullying and all this other shit. You should be made fun of. Bring back bullying. I think bullying is, 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 I think is good. I think, especially for men. Oh my god, Byron, bullying is bad. Bullying is fucking fantastic. You're gonna regret it. Right off the bat, I want to let all the newcomers to my channel know that I don't like bullying. I don't encourage it. I don't enjoy doing it. What, 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 what has the world come to? If the only type of content that does well is content to ridicule women, rap content, sexual content, this stupid music industry, what? It's just I don't I don't know what how to feel. I really don't. Angry, sad, disappointed. I don't know. I don't know. It's it's. It's never been like this. Doing it, and I don't think it's a good thing at all. But goddamn, do some people deserve it? <laughs> In case you don't know Fresh and Fit, these are by far the biggest clowns on all of social media. For, for the record, yeah. for you three to answer this, uh -oh. what percentage of college women do you think are being flown around the world? I want to hear from all of you. If I had to argue, I want to hear. Off of like probability wise, if I had to argue, Maybe like, give me 30 seconds. I'll make you 20% more on your e-commerce, TikTok, and Facebook ads. Actually, it'll only take 10 seconds. 30, 40, to be honest, folks, man, if, if you're looking to be big and you, and you want to do the right thing, you will be alone for many years, man. You will be longer. You will be tougher. You will even have more hate than people like this. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. I don't know how to describe it, but you have to be in the situation to know. You have to be in the situation to know. If you do things the right way, you will have more hate. If you're off the world, you promote evil, you will be praised. Now more, now more than ever, I'm just seeing it, and it's scary. It's scary, sad, and alarming all at the same time. That's why for me, man, like, I, I try to stay away from people now. Because people are too drawn to, to, to all this stuff. It's, if, if you don't, you, you can't fit in. You can't fit in when you're trying to do things. You just can't. 
And social media is not a good place for people that don't fit in. It's not. Nowadays, at least. Nowadays. Forty fifty click a groom. That's not happening. Okay, it's not fifty percent. And uh, if anyone was gonna throw out some insane statistic like that, it would have of course been the Harvard graduate statistician, Mr. Walter over here, right? Only with the highest quality fact. <laughs> <laughs> and these clowns have just made the biggest mistake of their entire careers. They recently posted this two and a half hour long podcast calling out Abba and Preach, where they made some of the most ridiculous claims. I've ever heard in my entire life. You hear a man, and you're, and you're sitting down talking about another man. You're a coward. You're a coward. If you're a man and you have a problem with another man, handle it face to face. Handle it face to face. Whether if it's a conversation, negotiation, or face to face if it needs to be. This thing about being like a gossip girl type of thing. Putting in social media. You're a coward. What happened to men being men? If I have a problem with somebody, I'm not going to talk behind their back. I'm going to confront them and tell it to their face. Whether if it's in a respectful way or whatever the situation permits. What happened to guys being up front? Behind gossiping. Gossiping, confront the situation. Why do you need to talk behind people's back? Why? If I have a problem with you, I'll confront you and tell you. What happened to guys being like that? They all want to gossip about each other on social media now, and it gets views. So sad, man. No person doing the right thing is motivated to do the right thing anymore. It's inspired to do the right thing. It's inspired to do things the right way. Because of stuff like this, it's, listen, it's easy to blow up. All you need to do is talk about girls, have lustful content, have music industry content, have rap pill content, and have women willing to strip naked. That's how you're going to get views. Easy. You don't need skill for that. entire life. I go like, when Bridge talks, I be thinking he has Down syndrome. Dude, you run a podcast with Fresh. So it's kind of like, she's winning. He is on, 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 on the other hand. And they all <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry, but you can't ever say that someone has a mental disability when you host a podcast with a guy who looks like he's constantly tweaking off drugs. And unless he is, I mean, I, honestly, it'd probably be better for your excuse if he actually was tweaking off drugs. Because if he's not, how do you explain this? So it's kind of like, she's winning. He is on, 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 He's shaking and shit, dude. Calm down. And they also lied on video on numerous occasions. And the insults they made were the same as what the kids in my middle school used to say. And once they realized they weren't getting anywhere with words, they decided to start dancing around like monkeys and making ape noises, all because the people they were talking about have skin that is black. <laughs> Don't bite your fat ugly wife! Don't bite your fat ugly wife! <laughs> this is another tool. This guy's another tool on the show. We we'll promote racism as well. We we'll promote racism. That's what we promote. And I don't know how this guy, what's his name, uh, Fresh, sits there and listens to it and have nothing to say about it. You will, will not be able to do that stuff in front of me. I will smack the snot out of you if you did this in front of me. Smack the snot out of you. This is unacceptable. Unacceptable. And this stuff is viewed and praised. If you're a lady, man, and you're attracted to this, may God bless you. That's all I have to say. May God bless you. These guys are lying. This is a lie somewhere. No woman's attracted to this. None. Women like serious guys. Women like guys that aren't clowns. You can be funny and charismatic without being a goofball. Without being racist. This is unacceptable, but it gets views. And that's the problem with the generation now. We care too much about how many zeros 
is in the views. How many zeros the views have? We don't care about quality. We don't care about integrity. We don't care about things that teaches, inspires. We only care about entertainment. To be honest, they'll be the they'll be who they are. I'm just mad. I'm just concerned about the people watching. I'm really concerned. And these are the same people that buy their courses, buy their services. <sighs> That's like friendly fire. Like what? I know they're trying to make fun of Abraham Preach. Like you're being racist, but like you're being racist against your own. So I wasn't. So I wasn't. Uh, I, I'm not an idiot for saying racism. He just said racism too. He's he's white and he's saying it. Okay. So maybe if he says it, you you listen. He's white and he's saying that. But this is the kind of things that is praised. Praised. I hope somebody is seeing the problem with this. I hope. Nice guys finish last. So let me get this straight. I have to be like this. I have to be like this. I have to be like this. I'd rather be alone. I'd rather be alone than be like this. Your own race. If you're a fitness coach, what if you could pay your bills with a little extra left over with 20 hours of work per week? It doesn't even make any sense. Also, I can't imagine how bad you must have had to lose the argument to where this is what you're resorting to. Like, imagine a fat kid makes an argument against you. Like, a very good argument. Like, an S-tier argument. And then your, like, go-to response is like, Hey, I'm Jimmy, I'm fat! Ah, better look at me, I'm so fat! Like, dude, you lost, okay? You lost. And that's different, okay? Because at least being fat, although what I just described would be embarrassing, you can have some control over whether or not you're fat. This is like, you have no control what race you are at all. Be okay! And if that wasn't bad enough on its own, Myron's mental breakdown over Abba and Preach. I, I, I just question sense of humor. I question sense of humor. How can you sit down and laugh at that? Seriously. So people will tell me, oh, you, oh, you, you, you can't take a joke. You're not funny. Like. How can you sit down and think that's funny? How? We've gotten to, to a, a, a far point. Goodness. Actually started the night before when he decided to do this. I think enough people know now that these dudes have literally zero talent. Zero talent. We got guns! We're fucking ready in this jeans! <laughs> Are you on Circus Coke? No! You rally no fucking drugs? What the hell? This baby? <laughs> Even the person sitting next to him said something about his. <sighs> Folks, you cannot make this stuff up. You can't. And these are the only group of guys pushed out of everybody. Imagine you're a parent and your kid is watching these people. I, I just. If you're a parent, God bless you. God bless the fact you're raising kids in this messed up generation. Messed up. Goodness gracious. Let me out here! This guy's a fucking loser. Look at him, look at him. <laughs> so how did we get to the point where Myron's molding this hard? Well, let's have Myron explain the whole backstory here. Long story short, I went ahead and called Abba Blue Pill. Yeah, put a hood over it. Put a hood over the pattern baldness. Come on, bro. <sighs> Oh, that had to have been a cope, right? You know how Fousey had a tattoo on his head to basically substitute for a hairline? He got a head tattoo? This guy should look into it. He should shave his head and skip. There's just one of us have for you guys, man. Look up to yourself. Don't look up to any other guy. Don't. The closest you should look up to is God and maybe your father. That's it. Other than that, don't be a fan. Don't idolize. You don't know what people do behind closed doors. Even me. Don't be a supporter. Don't be a fan. Don't be a fan. Don't want to be like another person. 
will idolize way too much to the point we'll maybe blinded by what is in front of us. What is in front of me right now is a loser. I don't know about you. Somebody that is racist, puts down people, lies to people for profit and fame is a loser. It could be a child of God. It could be destined for great things as a human being because we all are. But using that potential and using those gifts that he may have to do it for evil things is a loser. Period. I don't want to curse. I don't want to curse. Just gonna add a tattoo. Because the balding, not a great look. Okay? Way back in the day on a stream when we were doing two to three podcasts a day. And honestly, it's not actually embarrassing if you're balding. Many men lose their hair. But, you know, you're trying to do the hook thing. You're going after other people. It's just like, come on, you know? When Rolo and all them, I didn't necessarily recall when it was. He comes on the show, he confronts me about it. Hey, you call me blue, blue, blah, blah, blah. You get a scalp transplant. You know, go hit up somebody else. Hit up one of your barbers. Tell them that you gotta surgically get like a scalp lasered in there. Looking for ways to make home cooking more affordable and cheaper than shopping at the grocery store? Chef's Plate Meal Kits save you both time and money. There, you know, get, get, a, get a new piece of hair, new dome piece. Which we're going to play some of that, by the way, for y'all as well. I addressed it like, hey, you know what? It is what it is. I was wrong about you. On air, we patched it up right then and there. All good. He stays for the after hour show, had some conversation, etc. Right? Everything's good. Months after the fact, they go ahead and make a hippie saying that we're cappers and they attack our integrity, our ability to be honest, how we're not necessarily who we purport ourselves to be, etc. Which, bro, for guys like us that are in the self improvement space, integrity and honesty are huge. Okay, first things first, Fresh and Fit have no integrity for anyone to even attack them for in the first place. Both Fresh and Fit sell a course on how to pick up women and claim that course is going to change your life. Yo, awesome. everyone that took action on our course, I get. Let me tell you this right now. That's a guy. You, if, you, if you don't want to listen, you don't want to listen. You don't need two things. To be in shape and to know how to communicate. That's it. Pick up. Pick up what? What? Like, what did the, what did our parents do? What did our grandparents do? Our ancestors, what did they do? What do they do? Be attractive enough so people look at you and say, oh, I can make that person. And be able to communicate, hold the conversation. That's it. The only thing you need to know is, my name is, what is your name? I don't know what you would teach in a course. What 500 USD? I don't know what you would teach. It's not like you're, you're hiring a personal trainer that needs to show you Nutrition, teach you about micronutrients, macronutrients, how to track, how to monitor your body weight, what exercises to use, the difference between compound exercises and isolation exercises. Why do you need a course of this? Why? Why? Why do you need a course to tell you if somebody is attracted to you or not? Either somebody is attracted to you or not, there is no increasing attraction. There is no change in somebody's mind about you. If somebody chooses to disrespect you, they chose it. So move forward until you find people that respect and appreciate you for who you are. Why do you need a course? I'm just happy the past generation wasn't like the one now. Otherwise, I wouldn't have this. I wouldn't have the light that I'm looking at, the laptop that I'm using, the building that I'm sitting in, and the buildings that I'm looking at across the window. Goodness, what are people becoming? I guarantee it's going to change your whole life. Yeah, I guarantee you. Yes. Yeah. Yet, both of them are confirmed to have used sugar baby websites oh. in order to pick up women where they paid women money in exchange for Oh, interest. oh, he's got the receipts, Walter. Oh. He's paying Miranda. He's paying Tra Travon. Are we sure that that's a woman? I mean, dude, Walter has to pay for women, but his course will change your life. Dude, what, what, no, 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 no. Come on, man. Come on. Why are you wearing like a Native American style rug? Right? So how we met the honest truth no with, cap. with no cap we met on seeking emotional damn it oh shit seeking seeking i guess it's a sugar baby website and he didn't like that 
clowns. And this, a, this, this guy has a million followers or something. You got to look up to this guy. You got to look up to this guy. Look up to this guy. Look up to yourself. Love yourself. Don't look at anybody on the internet and say I'm a fan. Stop being a fan. If there's something you can learn from somebody, fine. But take the things you're learning and apply it to your life. Don't be a fan. Never be a fan. God made everybody different for a reason. It's because we have differences we need to discover in order to use to contribute to the world. Not be a sideline watcher for the rest of your life. This is what happens when you look up to people. You look up to people without knowing what they do behind closed doors. Goodness. Like that. that on seeking. Oh, oh! Oh! That is not a good look. That's like when the truth comes out. That's when you walk outside and you smell that za. But, uh, dude, that's rough. This had to have happened live otherwise i would make sure this would never hit the internet emotional damage you approached me on a sugar daddy <laughs> website and asked me to be your sugar baby and then never couldn't did. afford my allowance never did he couldn't afford my ten thousand dollar allowance a month and said huh that's funny why don't you just come on my podcast instead so despite the fact that myron self oh my it's his for all the people saying oh you're just a hater come on man are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you so much of a fan you cannot see what's wrong with this? This is why I say never be a fan. Because it stops you from thinking clearly. Can you not see the problem with this? Goodness, man. And these are the people that get the most views, get the most money, get the most likes. But you know what? They will self-destruct. They will self-destruct. It will be just about time. I'm not banking on it. I'm not hoping for it. It's just going to happen. Because what goes around comes around. Do things the right way. It will take much longer and you'll deal with a lot more hate. But if you can overcome it, you will be the last person to laugh. His profile is here. One percent man, thirty-one male. Please read. I'm picky. The Google career certificate. It helped me land my dream job. As a full-time mom, I picked the Google certificate because of its flexibility. I was able to complete it with. Oh God, last active. Okay, maybe he left the website, but this is uh, this is not looking good. This looks pretty legit. If identifies as a top one percent man on this literal escort website. The site he uses is Seeking.com. It's basically an escort site. It's described as sugar date, where you gift women things in order to go on dates with them. There's a record. Yeah, the one thing I'll not do. I'm not buying anything for any woman, unless she's my wife. I'm not bribing you. I'm not telling you how much I make. I don't need to tell you what I do for a living. I'm not buying you shit. Oh, sorry, I cursed. I'm not do I'm not bribing anybody to love me, to respect me, to appreciate me. Why didn't our ancestors need to do that? I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. If you don't like me, great. If you like me, great. I'm not bribing anybody for friendship and affection. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Respect yourself enough just to sit alone in peace. A peace of mind is priceless. I am not bribing people to be around me. I'm not doing it. I'm not begging people to be around me either. Recommended list with the most popular. If I have the money, you will not even know. Gifts. When signing up, it immediately asks if you're looking for earners or attractive people. You then need to immediately put in your yearly income as well as your net worth. There's no debate as to whether or not these guys have an ounce of character or integrity for anyone to even attack them over. These are two single 30-year-old men who live in Miami and only have relationships that are purely transactional, yet they have the audacity to try and teach the younger generation of men how to pick up women for the low cost of only $4.99. Where's the integrity there? Nowhere, bro. Also, they can afford to pay more escorts off of seeking. You know, it's a vicious cycle. 
Oh shit, so they get the money from guys who think they're gonna teach them how to get girls. And with the money they get from those desperate guys, they pay more girls to show the guys who want the girls that they are getting girls. Oh my god, that is kind of a cracked formula, but very deceptive, very dishonest. And overall, it just proves that you are frauds. I mean, if you can't see the very clear-cut, you know, display of fraudery that's happening, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, it is pretty simple. I would have a harder time understanding, you know, 2 plus 2 equals 4 than understanding this shit. I mean, it is pretty basic. What we're gonna do here, guys, is we're gonna go through a lot of the lies, because what I want you guys to understand is that these guys are a reaction channel, they edit their clips, and they put it in a certain way to spin the narrative a lot of times that isn't true. A lot of you guys are like, Myron, why are you responding now? Just let it go, blah, blah, blah. What you guys don't understand is that these guys have been talking shit for the better part of damn near two years. They've released 20 plus videos on us, attacking us, attacking us, attacking us. And then, hey, at some point, Frank Cass has got to come out and hold these fucking ass clowns accountable because they've been lying to you guys about exposing. Holding people accountable. Here's another thing, too, with this accountability thing. The only person you need to hold accountable is yourself. And clearly, these people aren't doing it for themselves. If you hold yourself accountable, some sort of results will show. Period. Period. Some sort of results will show if you hold yourself accountable. I'm just against people lying and profiting off it. I'm just sick of it. Suppose the lies. So this is less than five minutes into the hit piece and Myron is already coping. I've seen most of these videos on Fresh and Fit by Abba and Preach. I don't watch much of their content, but when they make a Fresh and Fit video, I have to watch it because I'm always down to see Sigma males like this get exposed. So I don't even know if I want to do a part number two. But anyway, there's about 35 minutes left to this video. So I may have to do a part number two or part number three. I don't know what to title this video. Don't be a fan. I don't know. We'll think about it. But anyway, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, stay tuned for more videos. Stay tuned for part number two of this. And uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. One of the things I want you to take from this is stop being a fan. Be a supporter. But be careful who you support at the same time. Gather your own information. Gather your own details. Be very much like a spy. And use the things you, you see as lessons or things to inspire you to better your life. Never be a fan of another person. Never. Don't idolize. It says it in the Bible. It says it in the Bible. And it says it for a reason. And there's just many things that shows is the last days we just tend to be so drawn to evil things which is wrong it's wrong you know and it's sad at the same time but anyway like always get better every day get better every day optimize yourself i'll see you next video god bless